So just because you make a buffer out of, let's say you have a weak acid and it's conjugate base. Hydrofluoric acid is a weak acid. Conjugate base is fluoride. You could make fluoride in a solution, for example, by dissolving a salt like sodium fluoride. The sodium fluoride dissociates and the sodium plus doesn't react with water, so the important reactive part is the fluoride. Just because we have hydrofluoric acid and fluoride in solution doesn't mean we're unnecessarily will have a good buffer. What you want for a buffer is a relatively large amount of the acid and the base, and you want them to be approximately equal. The buffer works best when the ratio of acid to base is no more than a factor of 10 apart from each other. So if you have 10 times as much base or 10 times as much acid, then that's in the range of an effective buffer. And if you plug in the two extremes, you'll end up with a pH of your buffer, either one unit of pH higher than the pKa or one unit lower than the pKa. So for example, if your pKa of your acid is 8.14, this would be a good choice for a buffer anything between 9.14 down to 7.14.